It's time for School Food 101. <laughs> Exciting things are growing on the Central Coast. KCUI and the Orfila Foundations are teaming up to change the way children think about food. School Food reporter Jennifer Mandalay is here to give us the dirt on uh -oh. some of this. How about that? This is going to mm -hmm. be a good one. Okay. okay, I borrowed my daughter's whiteboard here to show <laughs> us. This is very high tech. Uh -huh. I know you guys are, you know, HD and all that, but this is I very high tech. I thought that was an iPad. <laughs> <laughs> the school garden program now helps support 23 gardens locally on the Central Coast. Seven more are planned. Now all this adds up to really healthy, happy kids. What's really exciting, one school garden locally is about to celebrate its first birthday and there is a lot to celebrate there. Mm -hmm. Who's a digger? Hi. You're a digger? All right. Uh, Students really dig their Try organic the garden. Outside. There you go. Can I have a big shovel? Students pick up shovels instead of school books. Pretty cool. Here, education comes to life. So else on an air, one more thing. Water. Water, thank you. It's fun to plant flowers and plants. Proving if you plant it, they are more likely to eat it. I like stuff that are green. Here. And orange. They love eating the foods in the cafeteria, making a salad and saying, I made this salad, therefore now I get to eat this salad, has really been a joy and delight to see the students' faces shine. Every student gets some time in the sun. Kindergartners plant the wheat, third graders grind the wheat and make muffins. And what was once an eyesore of gray asphalt is now transformed into a living butterfly and a ladybug. The garden here at Adams Elementary is now one year old. It's all grown up, designed by students who were struggling academically. We gave them the opportunity to design the blueprint of the garden. And for them to actually plot the coordinates, to use science, to use math and technology to actually do that, and then to see it happen has just been really rewarding. As a result of the positive growth in the garden, the principal found test scores are up. There's, yeah, a lot growing at Adams School in more ways than one. <laughs> Growth made possible thanks to seed money from the Orfila Fund School Food Program. Giving a school a garden is like giving them a puppy. At first, everyone's really excited, and then they realize it's going to be a lot of work. That's when new help arrives in the shape of a gem. And so I didn't know you guys were called the gems. <laughs> the garden educator manager, or GEM, keeps it going and growing. It is really exciting. Everybody's thrilled at first, but um, we know when we have a day like today where it's 90 degrees and really hot and dry, everything needs to get watered. And to have somebody who is accountable, responsible, will be here to maintain it through vacations, through the summer, so that the students can really enjoy um, the fruits of, I guess, my labor. These are red wigglers. Today, teachers from other schools learn about worms and what works in the garden. Yeah, we're hoping the teachers will share with each other so that if one has a challenge, someone else can provide a success to that challenge. Sharing and celebrating the first year of this garden gift. Oh, we love it. Yeah, I couldn't, couldn't teach her without the garden. It's, we can't go back to being in the classroom every day. I, I wouldn't be able to do that. <laughs> no turning back. The only way to make it better, make it bigger. It, it has been a great addition and we just hope to expand it. I mean, if, if you look at the garden, we have two more plots that we're ready to break ground, so we just need the funding. <laughs> what a great little program that is. It is. Uh -huh. The Adams School Garden was really a community effort. The parents pitch in all the time to keep mm -hmm. it growing. Prudential Realty, Home Depot, and the Rotary Club also came to help build the garden, which was okay. really great. Okay, your it favorite part. Yes. <laughs> time to dig into my reusable green school mm -hmm. food bag and bring you some of my souvenirs. Oh, Do you guys wow. know what these are? Bok green vegetables. Choy. <laughs> it is. It's is it bok choy? It's baby Ooh. bok choy. Wow. And the schools say that kids won't eat healthy Smells vegetables, so but they actually put that on the menu and they ran out. Oh. Kids loved it. That's okay, wonderful. Arturo, it smells so fresh. Mm -hmm. I love it. Wait, do you see what I brought you? I brought okay. you 12 new friends. Uh -oh. Are you excited? 12 new friends. Uh oh. Some of the red oh. wigglers. <laughs> Katie loves these. Mm. Now the neat thing about this. As long as I don't have to eat them. We're not it, eating these, are we? In the school garden, the kids get a really big kick out of, mm -hmm. you know, throwing their banana peels and apple cores into the garden as compost. Right. And they learn how to be better friends to the earth. So I'm going to put these on your desk. Okay. Uh -huh. Does that yeah. sound good? Just yeah. put them like in his top drawer so he forgets <laughs> it and he opens it and it's like, surprise. Did you want to hold your new she, friends? Yes, yeah. I do. Thank you very you should much. get to know them and bond. <laughs>
not Jennifer, so bad. You'll, you'll be back with us next week, Wednesday. And yeah. aren't you glad? Yes, I am. Okay. Thank more you. <laughs> it's always a surprise. <laughs> and for more information about the school food program, you can log on to our website at kcoi.com. Just go to the news tab and you'll find a link to school food.